Hey there, and welcome to the Dave Does channel, and we're back doing some more of our, or my breakdowns of collaborations that I've done over the last two years. Uh, we're checking out the Alec Bartar and Dave Does Mun Munajat Cool, and this was the rock version. Um, it's always interesting going back and looking at these and seeing what, I, again, the, the purpose of doing this is to see what I did then, would I do the same differently, why did I do it the way I did, and try and break it down. So let's go check this one out. It's quite short as well, it's only like two minutes long. Odd. Okay, let's see what I did on this. Let's go. Oh, it's very different to the original, isn't it? I think I was kind of doing it as like a pop punk kind of Blink 182 style, I think is what I kind of went down the route with this one. So I was trying really to kind of find a space for uh, the melody that Alip's playing. I actually don't think this works as a track. Um, it because the the uh, maybe if the electric guitar was just playing a lot more low end chords, it would be fine and just let let Alip do the melody he's doing. I think I sh I tried too much to do too much melody with this. <laughs> I li and I'm also doing, what's weird is I'm doing the melody on the bass as well, which is weird. I should have just been going, I should have just been playing the root chords of like... That's what I should have played in the background of this, I think. I do actually like this bit. I like the fact that I'm playing he uh, uh, I'm playing a lower end of what uh, Alex's doing, so I quite like that. So I'm playing a harmonised melody, which is quite cool. You can also see, based on what I'm wearing there, I must have just come in from work and done the drums. And I do tend to do that. So when I have a song that I want to do a collaboration on, it will be, uh, I always do the drums first. And a lot of the time, it will be a case of a new Alec Bartar song has dropped. I'll rush home, we'll do the reaction. I'll then do, I'll be wearing my work gear, which is what I was wearing in the on drums at this point. And I will do the drums, record those. And then I either go back to work or go and do something else. And then I will then go and work out what I'm going to play on the guitars and bass afterwards, which is why I'm always wearing something completely different. But I do the guitars and the bass back to back, which is usually why in these pictures like here, you can see I'm wearing the same thing, which is why I'm wearing two different outfits. <laughs> Okay, so that was my rock version of the track. Um, yeah, I think for me, I would have preferred maybe if I hadn't done, tried to do so much harmonizing. I think it was just because he's doing it, so I felt like I should do it. And I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it works as well. It's one of those ones that at the time I thought was a good idea. Uh, I don't think it was a good idea afterwards, unfortunately, but. Um, 
there you have it unfortunately I don't, I don't know would i do anything more on it maybe i might go back and do something on it but i don't know what i would do with it um i liked the idea of the pop punk idea um but as i've already kind of done that maybe i would do something different with it if i tried it a second time um but i don't know let me know what you think i should do uh, with that particular kind of collaboration in the future uh leave your comments down below and i will see you on another video sometime very soon take care